Hey, it's Blake Williams with Super Inspector and Super Concierge with another Real Estate Red Flag Minute. And today we're going to talk about electrical systems. And so very important part of the inspection, especially on older houses, we find a lot of electrical problems. And these are usually things that need to be checked out by a licensed electrician. So if the inspector says anything about the electrical, uh, you know, unless it's something like uh, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, things like that. But if he says even a simple thing like there's loose outlets, you know, that may be something that you need to get an electrician out of. I know that sounds crazy, but we've seen house fires start as a result of loose outlets. And uh, you don't want that for your client, and we certainly don't want it. Uh, reverse polarity. So we're going to go around with what we call a circuit analyzer and so this is what we plug into the outlets and there's lights on it and it tells us if the outlet is wired correctly and it gives us some other indications uh, one of the wiring issues that we run into is reverse polarity which indicates that the hot and neutral wire are reversed it's an easy thing to correct usually but it's a safety issue because if you have an appliance plugged into that uh, it will work, but there's a good possibility that the user of that appliance could end up with an electric shock. And so we don't want that to happen. So we're going to check all the outlets that are accessible in the house. We're going to check for ground fault protection. So if you're going into an older house, there's a good chance that it doesn't have the required GFCI or ground fault circuit interrupt protection. Uh, so you're looking for the outlets with the test and reset buttons on them in the kitchens and bathrooms. Uh, you know, you, they'll say, oh, this house is too old, it wasn't required, so it's grandfathered in. And that's true, but it is a safety item, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, if you tell your client they don't need to upgrade to uh, with ground fault circuit interrupters and then they're using a hair dryer in the bathroom and drop it in the sink and they reach in there uh, they're going to get electric. They're going to get an electric shock. And uh, if the next question is, well, my realtor told me I didn't need to upgrade this. Well, now you've got a liability on your hands. It's not likely that that's ever going to happen, but the possibility is always there. So you always want to be careful about how you recommend and say things are grandfathered in, especially when you're talking about electrical. Uh, some other red flags that you can look for when you're showing a house is look at the electric panel. If you see on there that it says Federal Pacific, Zensco, or Sylvania, then there's a good possibility that that is an obsolete, outdated panel. Those brands of panels have had problems with house fires, with breakers not tripping when they're supposed to, and so forth and you don't want your homeowner stuck with that. I had a client who moved into a house with a Zensco panel after we had told them to get it looked at by an electrician. They didn't do it and 30 days after moving in the house caught on fire as a result of the electric panel. And when the agent called me about it and I said, looked at the report and I told her, I said, well I recommended that you have that panel looked at and her response to me was, yeah I should have advised my clients better on that. Uh, luckily, the insurance took care of it. Uh, the clients didn't come after anybody. The insurance company didn't come after anybody. Uh, but man, that was a scary moment. So if you see any of those brands, Federal Pacific, Sylvania, or Zensco, then that can be a red flag. Uh, Sylvania and, Vin and Zensco are the same brand. Zensco was the company who started manufacturing these and then Sylvania bought them and they're easily recognizable because the breakers are colored red and light green. So if you open up a panel and you see red and light green breakers in there, then that's probably a Zensco or Sylvania panel and it's probably going to need to be replaced. Matter of fact, if I was buying the house, I would replace it. Uh, that's usually about a $1,200 deal, so it, it should be done. Uh, so that's electrical panels, a little bit on the electrical system. Hey, look for more of these real estate red flag minutes where we can help you avoid problems during the real estate transaction by sh giving you some red flag information. Blake Williams with Super Inspector and Super Concierge. Thanks.